I technically can grab my backpack from the distance. <laughs> it's unorganized. How lovely. Uh, I guess this is it. Oof. I mean, I can kill her from a distance here. Slowly and steady. Oh boy. We have arrived. Finally. I always pictured you taller. Better looking. You greet all your guests with such terrible manners? Only honored guests. Sunrise is beautiful from up here. I never miss one. Yeah, it's a gorgeous view. Today was supposed to be a celebration, but it has turned into a day of reckoning. You're a survivor. There are fewer of us every day. I was, by making decisions that others would not. Impossible decisions. I agonized over what had to be done this time. The destruction of my beloved city. I take zero pleasure in it. But I am curious. Through the eyes of a legendary lone wolf, why do you think I would even consider such a course of action? I can barely look at her because of the frame rate, like... Is the worst I've seen in the VR. <laughs> You're afraid. Afraid of the alternatives. Yes. I was just like everyone else, tourist. I believed the reserve was salvation. But fate had other plans. When you uncovered that empty hole in the ground, I had to pivot. I spent weeks crunching the numbers. Only one thing became clear. Without a culling, starvation and disease would overtake us all in a matter of months. I had a choice to make. Allow fate to run its chaotic course once again and surrender the entire city to the dead. Or defy fate. Take matters into my own hands. And save a precious few by slaughtering the many. I chose defiance. I'm not the one to think about this stuff. Like, I. It is clearly a mass murder and just taking their actions in their own hands. Is that the phrase? I don't know. 
What you chose was mass murder. I chose the future. The tower as an art for those with the metal to rebuild a new world. Turning my back on so many people I loved in favor of pure survival. Can you even comprehend how difficult that is? But none of it matters now, does it? The bells ring, the plan is set in motion. But my victory is hollow. Treachery is everywhere. And I am alone. Where did I go wrong? Tell me. I'll be more egoistic. You messed with me. Big mistake. Nothing personal, Taurus. For what it's worth, I always had a feeling we would have a chat like this. You and I are very much alike. It's like we're twins. We're survivors, Taurus. Whatever the cost. And for me, that cost has gotten unbearably high. The roots of treachery have dug their way deep into my story. Choking the life out of me from within. The bodies around the table inside, they were not the first to betray me. One of them poisoned this drink. Their mind corrupted by some movement within my lower ranks. The assassin would not reveal themselves, of course. So my hand was forced. Garrick and May, I considered them family. But their ambition outweighed their loyalty. I learned they were plotting to murder me in my sleep, tourist. Simply because we didn't see eye to eye on how to manage the tower population. Like a fool, I spared them. Thought they would come to their senses outside the tower walls, on the run and alone was wrong. And then there was JB, my right hand. There were warning signs early on that the pressure was getting to him, that he was on the verge of snapping. But I dismissed them. I loved him like my own son, protected him when others called for his head. And how did he repay my loyalty? He tried to burn me alive and started a war over ideology. Every decision I have made has been in the service of other people, tourists. With the target on my back the entire time. My head on the block waiting for the plane to drop. But no more. I mean... I don't know, let's just continue, like, I will tell a few things later. True loyalty is rare. Great leaders inspire loyalty in their people, and they keep it. But I could not. Look out over our glorious city, tourist. Tell me, what do you see? No clue. I see opportunity. You sound like me. So long ago, this is the key to the city's future. It unlocks a control panel behind you. There is a button that will turn off the lights, and without the lights, the bells will fall silent. But heed my words, Torres. Letting the bells ring is an act of mercy. The slate will be wiped clean, and only those with the fortitude necessary to preserve humanity will remain and rebuild. They will thrive. But if you silence the bells, you will only prolong the suffering for all. The fate of this city will be sealed. The dead will prevail. I've made my choice. And have paid the price for it. 
Now, it is time for you to make yours. I truly don't know. Ah, God damn it! To be fair, there's literally nothing left. Like, I guess the priest exiles and stuff like that. I mean, okay, left and right through the whole game, everyone was betraying me and just doing their business. Of course, they were saving their ass, but I respect honesty, loyalty, stuff like that. Let them rip. Let the bells ring. Well done. You are a servant to the greater good. Like myself. Welcome home to a rest. I didn't have to do anything. Tourist, look like you chose to end this tale in flames. Not the path I'd have taken, but what do I know? I'm just a dead man. No different from all those folks whose fate you sealed by allowing the bells to toll. Mama's new heaven. She saw something in you, tourist. A kindred spark. I know you like to think of yourself as the lone wolf but take a moment to contemplate this she may have been playing you the whole while got exactly what she wanted from the only soul she thought capable of taking her place but you're the one left standing the one who has to deal with the aftermath good luck with that tourist you're sure as hell gonna need it. <sighs> I don't really regret and stuff like that. It's just that there's no clear choice and the city is already in chaos. Like, it's neither good nor bad ending. Like, it's just... It is what it is. <laughs> I want to say a few stuff um, in terms of just the whole aspect of the project and just the future of it. I definitely enjoyed the gameplay and the story, pretty much everything comparing to the first game. Like this is my much better game. You saw on the footage and just overall the performance, bugs, textures, everything was just the worst. I've seen. <laughs> and I'm sure this is gonna be resolved with the PSVR 2 launch and PC VR just because of the system. But there's no excuse, like there is a way to do stuff properly and just not rush in order to get it out as fast as possible. I would say it is a good game. It's just lackluster on the quest platform. But overall, like it was an upgrade from the first game, the gameplay, the just mechanics, like I very much enjoyed myself. I just wish it would be done differently, postponed or whatever, just polished out, and then it would have been a very much perfect experience. And we're back at home. Do we have zombies though? Like, <laughs> I want peace and quiet after all those action. So what now? Like, do we have some additional stuff unlocked? Is it just the end of the storyline? It very much seems so, like, there's nothing really else to do. I'm just gonna take a nap. Can I even read out the decisions and stuff like that? I technically can, but I would have to replay half an hour of stuff, which you can just watch it on YouTube. But the ending scene is not gonna be different, it's just gonna be much peaceful and uh, lovefully good. <sighs> Why does the music starting again? Is 
Is it just a permanent change? <laughs> like... How's the map looking though? I'm pretty sure this is like the end of things. Aha. So that's the... Result. <laughs> Only the tower is like the place where nothing is going on. Like I assassinate Mama. I mean I didn't. She just killed herself. Can I just enter the tower freely? I don't know. Like <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the main result. Like every little place here in the New Orleans is raided with zombies. Tower still doesn't like me. But yeah, I mean, I said my things. You saw the playthrough, like everything is pretty much clear. I don't think we'll be back here. Maybe to see the upgrades in the other versions, but that has been it, finally. I can have my peace. <laughs>